Hey y'all, hey, I am back with a um, video. I've been keeping my hair in these two ponytails for a minute. Initially, I started out with four twists. Um, have not washed my hair in about a month. However, I have gone in and cleaned my scalp. I did an article, a blog post, quite a while ago on that. So what I'll do is I'll have to remember to either link it above or put it in the description either way I'm gonna hook you up just to show you what I use <clears throat> now typically I do not band my hair I usually do like a bubble technique a bubble ponytail but this time I wanted to try my hand at banding and this is I only already redid this one side and it's almost as if the more you band the more stretched the hair gets now a few months ago i was about to say a few weeks a few months ago i took off about an inch and a half to two inches all around because i wanted my hair to be layered i really want my hair as it grows out to be like this big full voluminous wash and go fro whatever but i also want it to be long i am missing my you know it's not a bad length but i am missing my inches that I cut I've off. just been going back in re-moisturizing doing my re-moisturizing routine not washing my hair which is almost reminiscent um, of how the women of Chad care for their hair now I'm not using Shea Bay powder I am not wetting my hair each and every day but I am just taking it down I'm finger detangling for the most part and putting it back and now I'm just separating it you know getting it ready I'm just doing a quick finger detangle nothing deep or anything um, starting with my herbal hair tea today these spray bottles are working out thank you I don't want it super wet but wet enough and I'm just going in checking on tangles any knotting when you stretch your hair when you keep your hair stretched it it keeps all of that down it helps with your detangling process the wash day routine is lickety split compared to when you don't um, stretch your hair <clears throat> It's just faster. And now my aloe vera. I want to focus on the top. A lot of times we say, oh, just focus on the ends. But you want to focus on all of it. Um, with the emphasis on the top and the ends. Because you want your hair to be nourished as it's growing out of your scalp, right? Plus you want to save what you have at the bottom. We know this. We know all of this, right? But yeah, I get the most length retention success. And I'm just doing that to ball. Get the where's the hair at? I do that. That helps with just, you know, getting that cobweb of hair off. I don't know. I've had the most length retention success protecting my hair, you know, just leaving it alone and <clears throat> keeping it stretched clean scalp moisture I mean it's really simple when you really break it down if you just keep it simple okay and just for the butter aspect I'm using the shea I mean the Cantu and this is the coconut curling cream it has moisturizing properties so that's why I'm using it and I need to get rid of product. I have to say this curling cream is just okay. It does not, in terms of defining, it's just okay. I've actually come across some that's a little better and more defining. So I want to get rid of what I have here. 
what I do like about it though is it'll sit on top for a minute but when your hair dries it'll disappear it's like it drinks it right up and that's pretty much it now in the summer I was not using oil and it worked out beautifully but these winter months <clears throat> I need to use some oil now usually I go in with my leave-in conditioner I'm not doing that today and then uh, now I'm gonna do a little bit of black seed oil I recently started using this on my hair and skin just to try try it out and I like how even on the skin because I use a, I'm using it primarily I ingest it I take like a couple of teaspoons a day but it's something I don't I can't put my finger on it but the hair it's like instantly softened even if I don't put anything else on now just to make sure I have this laid like I want I am going to take this I don't know what kind of brush it is but it's a tangle teaser type brush and I'm just going to hit that back hit the top here and then do a little bit there and that's it also for a little bit of change of pace I decided that I wanted to braid the top of my hair first just because I you know the tension from having the band around it I don't want to deal with Come on, Bray. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, just want to make sure it's all separated. I think that's about how the other one is, about right there. Yeah, so I braided down maybe four or five. Let's see. I think that's good and then I'll take a band and just band it anyway I usually do my leave-in conditioner am I banding it I can't tell no I'm not <laughs> Oh, my battery is low. Let me undo this. See what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, band. It's like, how are you not banding? I'm undoing it. Child, that's what I need a mirror. Make sure my braid is still there. Okay. Like, how in the world does that happen? And you twist. And down. And twist. And down. <laughs> it's not that difficult. But why does it seem like it is? And one last one. So I have a little bit of hair left at the end. Yeah, I think that's giving me what I need. Yes. Thank you. Got a little bit of hair left at the end. I have a smaller band, and so I'm just going to continue on with that. Going down. Did I do it right? Sometimes I don't do the same exact thing on both sides. And it, anyway. All right, and then I just twist. And typically, um, what I also do is I'll put like a little barrette at the bottom where I kind of wind my hair, you know, my ends around the barrette so that the hair is protected. Or I might just tuck the ends in the bottom of the band. Either way, I'm all set. I'm good to go. Okay, I got a little bit. I never twist all the way to the end. That's just, just put a little more butter there. And sometimes I'll juice my hair up like the braid itself. And this time I'm just going to leave as is. 
and put a little more oil right here on the tops just in case but I usually always do a leave in my hair is so moisturized I guess it's okay to skip it this one time wait before I do that let me brush boop Now, my videos are getting longer, and that is not on purpose. And sometimes I like to wear my hair like this, you know, with the scarf. Um, I think it's cute. I like that. I really, really like that. And I follow up. I really like. <laughs> I like a lot, but see, I like wearing that long earring. I made these like five. Oh, we used to sell them. I think maybe five or six years ago. Might have been longer than that. But it just gives me that tribal type of feel. It's a different type of tribal-esque feel. I love most tribal-esque looks. <laughs> look i'm babbling so i'm going to end this video you guys much love live simply and be kind